Hello, Balua. <sighs> you know, it's not every day you get to see a totally hidden city that nobody else has seen for centuries. Apart from Asov. Apart from Asav. And a few of his men. And a few of his men. You ready? You just totally crushed that moment. You know that, right? Yeah, I'm ready. How do we get in? I don't know. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up.
city somewhere. Whoa! Up there. Guess Asav couldn't find an entrance, so he made his own. You'd think Asav would have more respect for this place. Asav only respects Asav. Ledge with water pumps. That's the way forward. It's a shame in a way that Baloo is hidden from the world. Another I'm guessing it's one of the Hoysala kings. How many kings did they have in their day? Eleven. The young king was the last in their line. Well, his plan worked. It saved his city from the Persians.
There we go. Up this way. There must be another way. What is this place? The boss? She played a big role in Hoysala society, particularly the Queen's. Not surprised. They were also involved in the fine arts, poetry, music, that sort of thing. Balua was their city, in a way. What do we have here? Incense? Or herbs? Fraser, over here. Whoa. Look at this. an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. Hmm. 
They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? Asaf get that tusk. No. No, we can't. Thank you. <laughs> Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. Don't forget Ganesh. Okay.
Thanks for going first, eh? You're welcome. <laughs> Got my eye on you. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. Oh, hello. Nice city you've got here. Place is started. Okay. Easy does it. Now, what? Got water in my ears. I hate that. I wouldn't give her a towel. <clears throat> my God. Are you seeing this? You know, at this point, I've run out of words. Holy goddamn shit. That's what? What on this place? Throne room. Place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. I'll have to find another way up. Shit. I just realized something. I think I know what it is. Bet we're gonna need that disc soon. Not much we can do until we find a solve. See a way up? Looking. Over here, Nadine. Copy that.
is moving. Be more specific. Right hand. Lower. Right hand. Maybe it's because the statue's enormous. But I just now noticed Shiva's got a king cobra for a necklace. That's Vasuki, a king of the Nagas. Entities that take the form of the king cobra. It shows his control over fear and death. Hmm. Cobras were always my favorite snake. Don't think I have a favorite snake. Hmm. Now what's that up there? One thing at a time. Right. <laughs> Now what? Well, there's got to be more to this. Just need to figure out what it is. <laughs> to the drum. Thought it was an hourglass. It's an hourglass shaped drum. Hey, hey, now, grab onto something. Okay, steady. Oh. And we're good. Time to see what's up there. all the way down to the hen. That's cool. Bet I need to do the same on the other side. Safe bet. I'll wait here. Sure thing.
Ah, there's another crank up ahead. I can see my house from here. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah, let's see what's up there, shall we? Is that it? We'll find out in a moment. The light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, I guess we're not done. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on. Right. Yeah. Now we tend to the other two. You were right. Of course I was. About what? What you said back in that place with all the statues and axes. Things always come in threes. Three points of the trident, <laughs> the light split into three beams. Huh. Not off to a great start. Hold on. I've got an idea. What are you doing? Improvising. Hang on. You got that? Yeah. There. You make a phenomenal statue. Get over there. This thing's heavy. Right. Careful. That ledge doesn't look sturdy. Copy that. Thumb. We'll have to do the other side first. Does that mean I can put this mirror down? If you have to.
Okay, can you be a statue again? Well, 
Well, now that was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit? The hell is she doing here? You said find help, I got help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <laughs> so, Nadine Ross. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was going to say, you look good. Was I not clear? I'm sorry, I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. God. All the people you could have brought with you. She saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but it, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit hurt that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you're going to pass over it. <laughs> oh. Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up! the kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on oh, our on way. Oh, on the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram a mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Hey, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill! Uh, he's right. But if you refuse, <coughs> you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <coughs> Chloe, don't! Parish 
Shirama. What now? Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet!
He's yielding. Thanks. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. What are you doing? Shut up and watch. He yielded. You're all right. Here. Yeah. That was unexpected. <gasps> Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. <sighs> that makes no sense. Not to a selfish prick, no. You <laughs> see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had... That would have made Shiva's axe look weak, powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? I'm going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs>